record this because I see a lot of good videos in places, but nobody's ever there to ask, ask questions. Are you okay at that box? Are you okay? Yes. Stay out of my way, please. I'm not in the way. Don't be rude either. I've got a big mess over here because of a bunch of things, but at least part of it's because all the stuff fell down off the shelf so, the day. How are you going to get the engine out of that? You don't worry about that right now. I'm not going to do it all at once. We're not going to do it all at once, Hope. I'm just saying. This is a many day project. Okay, so first off, and the reason I'm doing this with you, besides I like to have you guys hang out with me sometimes, is that we're going to talk about how these things work as we go along. So first, this is the gearbox. Okay. Transmission. What it does is it transmits power from the engine to the wheels. Okay, move back here and away the camera. Well, come over here. Come over here. So, this is a manual transmission like we had on our Saturn. Stick shift. It's a stick shift. Now, I'm not going to tear this apart yet, but there's sliders. Oh, yeah, you're seeing the sliders in there move. So, there's sliders inside of here, and when you move this, it causes gears to mesh, move across each other. So you choose which gear you want. We'll talk about how that works when we rip this thing apart. And what I want to talk about here today is the throw out bearing. Mm -hmm. See that thing? Yeah, that is so whenever, Yeah, it's gross in there because it's 85 years old. So what happens is when I press the clutch pedal, this lever pushes that throw out bearing out. This bearing can just spin like that, see? And when it comes back, it comes back in. And this is what lets you shift gears. So, unless you know what you're doing, if the engine's spinning, then it's hard to shift the gears, right? Because the back wheel's not moving at all, right? If you stopped at a stop sign, this thing's spinning, but this thing's not. Or at least back, the wheels aren't turning. So how do you get it into gear? You have to make the engine seem to stop spinning. So when you press this out, this throw out bearing comes out like this and it presses right here on these tangs. These little metal pieces here. So we're doing engine, so I will move this gearbox over here. I'll get it off of this because these are clean parts. There we go. Is that all from that? Yep. That is gross. Honey, that ain't even half of it. I've already drained most of it out. I need to get this trash out of here. Okay, so I took this off the other day. This is a clutch. And we'll see how this works when we pull it apart later. But when that throw out bearing comes out and presses in here, see that See that these pieces of metal here are the other ends of these tangs. See that? So this here connects to this. It's the same piece of metal. Okay. So what and happened? Then, wait, so I'm gonna guess these hold it down. These hold it down. It's like a seesaw, right? See how it's right there? That's why there's a spring here. Yep, that spring holds holds it in place. What happens is when this presses, what happens? This bolt, the seesaw, right? When we press this, this wants to come like that. But it can't because this bolt's here, right? So it makes it stop. No. These bolts are actually connected to the clutch plate, which is down inside of here, and you can't see that right now. What that does is when that when these tangs all press in, it pulls a plate out like this. And if you look in here, see these gobs, giant springs? Mm -hmm. This is the plate right here that those screws are attached to. Does this connect to that one? Right. So this whole thing spins. It's attached to the flywheel. You can see the teeth on the flywheel here. Or here, where my finger is. Mm -hmm. So this thing is attached to the flywheel. So this thing's always spinning with the engine. But whenever you press on this, it disconnects this inside. 
so that it can stop turning. Okay. That's what your clutch does. This is the starter motor. So this is the starter right here. Whenever you hit the starter, this thing starts to spin and it causes this, see the teeth? Yeah. These go in, it shoots in, and it engages with the teeth on the flywheel, and that's what starts the motor. This starts turning and it spins this thing. So this has to move? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a clever setup in there. Um, this whole thing, whenever, whenever the starter runs, there's either a mechanism here that, in here that sucks it back, or there's a spring here that pushes it in. Like this? And it'll, so as it spins, it goes back in, and that gear mates with that gear. And then this turns. And then this turns. See there, there it goes. So that's what happens. As this thing, see the, as this thing starts to turn, See the, see the teeth in there on the, or the, the worm gear mm -hmm. on the shaft? So as this thing starts to spin, watch. It pulls it into place. Whoops, my finger out of the way. And these things will, there it goes, look at that. It's in the gear. You think you could turn that? Well, and then, that hard? not so bad, that's greasy. So, I don't care. Your hands gonna look like that though. Hey. And the rest of the world doesn't want to see your butt. Shut up. Don't grease your butt. So that turns. <laughs> like a zebra. Uh-huh. And what happens is once this gets going, this thing's spinning faster. Right. See that? See what happened? It spun it right back off. So here, we'll do it again. Let's see, I will. Put that in. It spins. Why don't you come over here? Watch your step. This is grease. I know what that is. You don't step in it, is what I'm saying. So this thing spins. The motor starts to turn. Watch what happens. When the motor is turning faster than this. Watch this? Yeah, watch this pinion. Watch this worm gear here. So when this is spinning faster than this, it pops out. It zips it right out. Why'd you turn it backwards? I'm not turning it backwards. This is the way the engine will spin. But you turn this one this way and it spins that way. It's because it spins like that and engages it. And now the engine, see the, the gears, so they rotate the opposite directions. Oh, okay. So once this gets going, out it comes. And that automatically disengages this. And this is what happens if you keep trying to run, run the, like if you keep trying to start it, it keeps sucking this into that wheel because now it's slowed down. And you hear, and that's like the teeth getting all ground up on there. So it's bad. So we won't take this apart right now. Oh, let's look over here.